This video includes every gold race in Halifal, timestamped for your convenience. Now, unlike the last time I did this zone, I'll be able to actually see where I'm going. But I will link the old videos in the bottom where I did out this entire zone on gold with no light. The, the entire zone cast in complete darkness and not being able to see where I was going. But this video will do it the right way. So I'm going to dive right in with the hen's venture reverse right here at the top. A flick here. I don't have to run into any things there. Another flick here. Another one here. I pulled enough energy. Start my sprint. Great dragon glyph. Nice. Ooh, I did that the wrong way. I can fix it. Still got gold even though I went the wrong way. This one's too and pretty easy. How to do advanced. Oh, that guy one also starts going up. Gotta make sure I do that. Up, a point, and down. Okay. I don't even have to throw all the skies. I screwed that start up badly. I do a good flick. Make up time. No room to run into anything this time. Not with that start that I had. That was a travesty. Still gold. This one's pretty forgiving. As long as you could do a good skyward flick. To fix a screw up, there's always a chance of recovery. If you're trying to, if you hit surge from nothing, outside of the start, it's just too slow. Okay, there we go. This one will actually start a little faster. What that matters, this one's got the wins to carry to victory. Time to go zoomies. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Wish and go as fast normally, but they made the slower speed global. Okay, that concludes that race. On to the next one. Next we have Stillstone Salome. Starting with reverse. Two surges to start. Get through all the skies. Do a little bit of coasting. Skyward flick here. Still coasting a little bit more. Do another flick here to get speed. And start a sprint. Maybe. I don't remember this course very well. Not that I would. I wasn't able to see anything last time. Missed that orb. It seems vaguely familiar. 
This one was actually easier not being able to see. Because I wasn't... Because you couldn't see anything, there was less distractions. Oh, this one's very short. Well, it's an easy gold. It was tuned very easily. All right. Now do that again. Unadvanced. A lot of bigger at the start in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and... I didn't mean to grab that orb, but okay. Went the wrong way, got an extra orb, didn't help me any. This one has a sprint at the start. It has a lot of orbs at the start. It doesn't have a lot of orbs at the second half, so it's going to be one of those things where you sprint to start, but rely on Skyward Flix the second half. Maybe this sprint will work all the way, actually. It is a short course. Out of vigor. Out of gas. Flick. Got gold. Yeah, I ran out of gas, but the flick got my speed back. Just so I can make it in time. If I had used a search of a flick there, I probably wouldn't have gotten gold. Onto normal. This should be the freebie. Zoomies. I was debating going for that dragon glyph again. I saw it there. It's like, do I have time? <laughs> That's funny. And in for a finish. That should be that for that one. On to the next. We have arrived at the next course. Dunel's Detour. We're doing Dunel. Reverse. Straight up first. Got it. Skyward Ascend opener. A second Skyward Ascend. And a third Skyward Ascend. Fourth Skyward Ascend. They're going pretty fast. I think you coast down here. Skyward Ascend. All the speed is from Skyward Ascends. I think you go full sprint here. Hasn't been an orb in a while, but I pull all the energy at the start. To the bridge. I remember that being hard in the, in the dark. I didn't see where there was, there was an actual bridge there and I kept hitting the roof. Oh, that was a hitch. They haven't fixed that yet. There's a mailbox in the zone that makes you hitch when you get near it. Skyward Ascend, Skyward Ascend, and complete. Gold by 0.4. I blame the hitch. By the way, still a one shot. And the key there, again, is just Skyward Ascend flicks to go fast going forward if you can, but also Skyward Ascend in general when you're going upward. Now do Advance Downward. This is going to be the hardest race in the entire zone, I'm telling you that now. And it's mostly the RNG. Start with one Skyward Ascend, and only one. A, a Surge! And then Skyward Ascend here. Then Surge. You can pretty much go into a sprint here. For a little bit. 
the hitch there. That's the first thing you can't control, and it's annoying RNG. The second thing is this boat. This boat has a chance to be right in the middle of your path, and if it is, you can't do anything about it. Not at all. Okay. Still going full speed. Go under. Over. 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 Always hit that rock there. I'm terrible at that rock. And you lose like three seconds from it. And barely gold. But what makes that hard is not so much the course as just that one spot where you always hitch. No matter how good your PC is, there's something wrong with that area. There's a port of the blizzard, but they haven't fixed it yet. And the other thing is that boat. That boat travels back and forth. And if it's in the way, there's no time to go around it. The straight is too tight. You just have to start over. So it's just unfortunate things that make it hard for the wrong reasons. Not for the easy one. This one's just the freebie. Pretty much do the same thing as the last one. One, one thing. Skyward here. Hit the wind. This one, the winds make it easier, but the hitch still occurs right there every time. It will hitch right there, and you have to be very careful not to hit the ground. And here's the boat. The boat's not moving at the moment, so we're good. When it moves, it's, it, it, it blocks these rings right here. But this one should be easy goal. It's just normal. And I didn't run into the boat. So, we're good. This is another part that's real hard. This turn is so sharp that it's easy to hit the rock. I took it slower this time when I didn't hit the rock. Because hitting that rock is very bad. It breaks your sprint. And this is actually a tuned, tightly tuned time for a normal. But that concludes that one. This is probably, the, like I said, this one will probably be one of the worst ones in the zone. We've arrived at Myrdal Minor. And we'll start with reverse. I just think that's how you pronounce it, or something close to that. Well, meaner, not meaner, but I don't know. It's mean. Start with two surges. Lick here. Start sprinting. I see some orbs. Oh, this one was I remember that I remember this one. This one was very hard in the dark. Because there's a lot of things that goes on. It goes through a tree, it goes under a bridge. I vaguely remember this one. Kept running into a one of these spikes here because I couldn't see where it was. Skyward ascends here. I ran at this bridge several times. Because I couldn't see the bridge. You gotta watch my dark mode videos after this if you want to see what this race, this hard mode really looks like. I hit this bridge a couple times in the dark. Like seeing this race in the light is like mind blowing. Because I genuinely didn't see any of it. Okay. I. Forgot the length of the race and had pulled way too much vigor. I finished with like nearly four. So I barely golded that when I should have had a harder sprint sooner. But yeah, that one's not too hard. Advanced is next. And I really do love doing reverse first because then it's just easier from there. Okay, I'm going to do this. Do a flick here. Didn't get a lot of speed from it, but I got some. But there's a lot of orbs here, so I can start a casual sprint here. This one's pretty much a balls of the wall type course. Not much pooling here. 
I think that bridge is probably a lot easier in first person. That felt narrow, even this zoomed in. Skyward Ascend here. Skyward Ascend here. Skyward Ascend. All right, I like this one. I like the ones that are balls of the wall, to be honest, because it just, it tests your maneuverability and your ability to switch between Skyward Ascend and Surge as needed. Okay, that one's easier because I didn't conserve as much. Now for the freebie. This is actually one of the easier courses in the zone. Not real, not real RNG to it. Not worrying about a boat getting in the way or hitching. It's just straight up. I loved using a scour to send there. It's a good spot. Oh my god! Oh. Easy mode just became harder. I'm going to have to actually try it. I can still gold this. <laughs> Oops. Wasn't paying enough attention. God, this is so much easier than what I did before. Out of vigor, but I've got some wins here. It'll be fine. Barely goal it easy, but I mean, that was a big screw up. On to the next course. Anyways, the next course is Lights, Redou Light Lights Redoubt Descent. This course is without a doubt the hardest one in the entire zone. Oh, I got the two second head start bug again. Not that I want it, but. Basically, do a flick through there. The first part of the course is that boat is hard. The coast down here. Coast until you're near full vigor. And then hit the hammer and just sprint the rest of the way. And try not to run into anything. But this course is very toxic. It's easy to run into stuff. Little little branches will clip you. These little trees will clip you. And a ring up, up ahead here is easy to miss. This one at the bottom. If you, you might want to skyward ascend too soon. And miss any one of these rings. And you want to use skyward ascend to go up this hill. Because if you don't, it will not go well. And that's it. It's a short course, but it's very, very toxic. Again, on advanced. Hopefully, after all the failures in reverse, I can get this one right. I think it'll be easier because the hard part is at the start instead of the beginning. Full energy here. Flick. Start a sprint. But the boat will be at the end this time, and that will still be toxic. I think there's a couple toxic turns here, too. Like, if you're not careful, you'll hit when these tiny little branches are like one pixel wide, we'll bring you to a full stop. You have to be very careful with them. I'm losing speed because I'm using Skyward Ascend instead of Surge. Or, because I'm, I set that backwards. Okay, the boat's actually easy in that direction, so never mind. This course was easy. Very easy to get in advanced. It's only hard in reverse. Well, that's why you start with the hard one. 
Because after all the frustration, then you get easy mode. The same thing again. And one thing worth mentioning that I didn't realize, too, that matters, the smaller the mount you do use for this, the better, because then you see less of the blue flashing on the screen from first person mode. In fact, I should be using one of those B mounts, because then the blue flashing probably wouldn't be on the screen at all. If you use like a big, big Drake, you won't be able to see in first person mode. Excuse my language. No, YouTube doesn't like that. But you won't be able to see anything because the screen will be nothing but a flashing seizure if you're using a, a large mount. Because then, then the, the aura extends beyond the camera range. Okay. That concludes that one. One more in the zone. The final race in the zone, and this one should be a little easier. I'm going to start with reverse. So when it starts with an immediate sharp turn to the left, but it's mostly downhill, so I'm coasting. Okay, this skyward click here. Start a sprint, I guess. I don't remember this course like at all, but it seems like I have enough vigor to sprint already. So I hit a wall and lost all my speed, so the sprint is over. The pool again, get some vigor back. Okay, start another sprint here. Hopefully the run's not bricked. Got to send there, very important. Get the orb. Got to send. Get the orb. This one's definitely a, a full sprint course. Gold, barely. Despite the screw ups on there. And that goes into what I said again. If you can recover your speed with Skyward Ascend, it might not be over yet. It's at least worth a try. But only Skyward Ascend Flick can do that. Now, on to reverse. Now that I know the course is a sprint, I'll be able to take it a little bit more. Harder. Still gonna pull a little bit to start. Okay, start sprinting now. That one's hard. Like, if you're not careful, you'll hit the water and lose all your speed, or you'll miss that ring. If I were to send here. Oh, careful with that ceiling. I hit the ceiling button lose speed. I didn't hit it in an awful way. Go this way, through here. So far, it's like a near perfect run, but there might, I gotta go to the ship. This one was pretty awkward. This one's probably gonna be one of the harder ones to do in challenge courses when they open up. Okay. Advanced gold complete. Now for the freebie. Normal mode, attempt 14. I've had nothing but trouble. The beta server's acting up like no tomorrow. I've had lag issues where the winds don't work, where I push the surge button and I don't surge. And it's just been chaos. I just did one attempt, I just hit a surge, it didn't do anything. That one worked. Okay, that wind took a second to kick in. Okay, I've gotten further than I have in the last like 13 or 14 attempts, so that's good. Maybe the server's done being a butthole. Thank 
God. That concludes this zone. Thanks for watching, and I hope I was able to help you with these races. And I'll see you in other videos if you like and subscribe. So please do that. Because I like helping people do these dragon races. Sky races, sorry. They're one of the most fun parts of the game for me. And I enjoy sharing it with all of you. Thank you.